hey bunny welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is honey and wow it's been such a long time since i've done an episode of adulting with honey oh wow um yeah so we're back uh, we're doing another episode of adulting with honey if you're here for the first time adulting with honey is a series where i basically give advice and share my experiences on anything and everything adulting so um if you're here for the first time hit the subscribe button and join the family don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single time i post a new video and today's video i went on instagram and i was like i'm going to do a video on um anything that has to do with career and job opportunities and so and if you have any question ask me a question and so that's what i'll be doing i'll be responding to some of your questions that had to do with my career oh yeah so um let's get into this video Um, some of you may or may not know this, but like, yes, I'm a GIS technician, GIS analyst, GIS specialist. Ah. Let's just say I'm a GIS technician. That's what I'm going to go with for now. So uh, basically, GIS is geoinformation science. I did my minor in geography and environmental studies and my major is GIS. So um, yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way in case you're here for the first time and you're wondering what GIS is and I'm here like GIS, GIS, GIS. So yeah, um, first question. So I think the thing I like the most about my job, that same job name, not GIS or career or job. Yeah. So the one thing I like the most about my job, I would say is the fact that I'm actually able to be, um, creative. I'm able to, uh, um, give, advice or like i'm able to voice opinions and then um or share ideas and then these ideas are actually used and they actually come to life and i'm actually able to be part of the decision making process of like some very important decisions i think that's one thing i like the most about my job so i think hmm this is tricky like i've made a lot of career decisions at this point but like i think the one career decision that i've made that for me i feel like is the best one was um not jumping at the chance of a bigger check so um there was a time um i'll link the video here that i did last time about uh, um like after university my story time um so yes um there was a time i was basically offered a job that was gonna pay me a lot of smaller money no i was gonna be getting a lot of money for that job but it was temporary or whatever so i chose not to do that um yeah check out the video for all the details but like yes so i think that is that was the best career decision i've ever made like the video let's move on to the next question nice question it's actually a question i've actually thought of like for a very long time you know it's it's always been there in the back of my mind but i think i would have been doing something in the law like in the justice sector i think um i still want to do that so yeah i think i'll i'll be doing something in the law justice sector somewhere there i actually wanted to be a forensic detective growing up who knew now you know but like yeah i think something in the justice criminal justice by the way sector so ooh, that's a nice question how do i do that so um basically <laughs> i make sure i film my videos either on saturday or on my, uh, on sundays and i film videos in bulk like i don't film one video like i film a lot of videos at once i just change outfits basically <laughs> so um how do i balance the two i make sure weekends are for youtube um sometimes when i get off from work when i'm not as exhausted i use the time to edit videos so i pretty much don't have time for much like going out and stuff like that so yeah um 
that's how I create the balance. Work time is for work things. And then after work, lunch time, yes, sometimes lunch time, I'll use lunch time to edit videos or to up, not upload a video, but you know, after you upload a video, those things that you need to edit inside the video, like the description of the video and those things, man. <laughs> That's what I do during lunchtime or sometimes even my thumbnails I create them during lunchtime So I think that's how I get the balance work work time is for work purposes and then um, After work hours for my YouTube for my family and for my friends. That's how I create that balance Like the video It's easy. It's free and it's just it's just that bad and only thing that you're using is your Wi-Fi or your data Whichever one you're using but just like the video and share it with your friend. Hmm. Um, yes, definitely. Yes, I would advise someone to do GIS. However, I would advise the person to not just do GIS. Like, I would advise somebody that's like an accountant. Sorry, I think I, I thought I had something. I would advise someone that's an accountant to do GIS. I would advise someone that did like IT, for instance, to do GIS. If you're gonna do GIS, don't do GIS without something else. Like do GIS with maybe uh, um, um, town planning, uh, do GIS with regional planning or do GIS with environmental studies like myself, do GIS with uh, biology, geography, environmental biology, something like don't just do just GIS. Like, I would never advise somebody to just do just GIS. So yeah, um, and if you didn't do GIS, you can take like an extra course or like a certificate day in GIS and definitely it will like it will just change your career game for you like GIS is one of those things that is needed in every field enough of the rambling like the video next question um honestly speaking I didn't do GIS because I already knew what it was when I was in school or it was something I was interested in or like in fact I didn't even know what I was studying until I was in my third year like my second year I started getting an idea of what it was but like I didn't even know <laughs> where I was gonna do where, where I was gonna go with this thing where what I was gonna do with it it was just like I'm here I'm doing it I'm, I'm enjoying it I'm doing well in it but like where do I go work like how do I go apply it in the real world until I got to my third year and that's when I kind of understood it more of it and how I actually can apply it in the real world and after that I was like hooked that's what I wanted to do but like before that I really never knew or had an idea that I wanted to do GIS I think it was just a thing of I want to do something that has geography in it so I went on the UNAM website I went on the NAST website and yeah i just looked for careers that had uh, geography and i found git at nast and let me just say it didn't sound interesting at all and then i went to go find gis which is something similar kind of um to git at unum but like the way unum described gis ne, on their website like advertisement on a next level <laughs> but yeah um, because of that i was interested and i wanted to do that and i when I had and did that. Did you like the video yet? Did you like? Huh? Did you like? Oh wait, did you subscribe? Hmm. Next question. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Next question. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I think my career aspirations or like what something that I want to do career wise would to. I don't, um, so in school, when I was at UNAM, I did do G IT courses, like, not IT courses, but like, modules, like, programming, um, web development, databases, database management, those type of things, now, I did them, but I feel like, hmm, it's questionable, <laughs> I feel like I did them, but I didn't do them um, by applying GIS, we did it more like a, a, a computer-based person, like like somebody that's doing computer studies kind of thing. It didn't 
it, it, it didn't really link with my GIS and geography and that. So um, career-wise, I would like to do um, something on IT, not IT, but programming and database, not database management, programming and web development with GIS, like the two mixed together. Whereas how I did it, it was separate. It wasn't like together. So I think I would like to do that. And um, the other thing is, I feel like in the back of my mind, I still want to find a way of somehow going to put myself in the justice um, sector using GIS. Like that can happen. I just need to find a way to go insert myself in the, oh my goodness, the way I showed that. So, um, hmm, making a difference. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Like, maybe not necessarily what I hoped to, what I hoped when I was studying, but that I am definitely making a difference and I would like to make a much bigger difference. But like right now, um, what I'm doing at the moment is like, basically we are helping people in informal settlements construct toilets we are teaching them how to build toilets and we are teaching them about hygiene and sanitation and man if that is not called making a difference then i don't know what it is so um yes i am definitely making a difference hmm let me think what do i like about you I don't know like it isn't repetitive unless depending on where you are working it might end up being repetitive um you are constantly challenged um there's always new innovations there's always new technology there's always something new and you always have to keep up with the new thing and so what could i possibly hate about yeah is i feel like maybe the fact that people don't really take us serious or like they don't see how important we are until after they see results and then they're like oh yeah <laughs> but like i don't know there's nothing to really hate about you yeah, is oh the fact that the jobs are really scarce like it's really hard to find a job as a gis technician specialist analyst it's really hard and yeah maybe that's what i hate about it oh the salary oh child you do so much name, but like the mula, I don't know if it is just in Namibia, but like I think there should be a standard salary somewhere, but like you do so much, but like uh, mula ne. But I don't think that is that has anything to do with chia. I think that has to do with every other career, but like yeah. Okay. Um, hell yeah, go ahead, like choose Chia as it is an amazing career, it is a rewarding career, and it's one of those careers you actually see your work, you actually, you know, like you see the difference it's making, you see that it's impact, and it's yeah, it is exciting, it is interesting, and you are never gonna get bored. So, do Chia as okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and join the family. Like, don't be that calm. Just subscribe. Subscribe. Like the video. Share it. Share with someone out here, out there that's interested in doing GIS or just your friends, your family, your mother, your uncle, anyone. Just share. It's free. Well, you're using your data and your Wi-Fi, but like, it's free. But, like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up, share, like, comment, do the most. Um, bye. See you in my next video. Love you guys.